In the past few days, Hakugai at Nagashima Spa Land in Japan has officially opened to the public. Enthusiasts have been following the progress of this ride for quite some time now, and it's been very highly anticipated. This is an RMC iBox conversion of the White Cyclone wooden coaster, which was a massive wooden coaster that operated for a little over 20 years. And that wasn't the most popular in terms of ride experience. And being that White Cyclone was such a massive wooden coaster, I mean, it was a great foundation for RMC to start with. This has been very highly anticipated. Now the ride is open, we have some official POVs and footage of it running, and I'm just going to sort of break this ride down and talk a little bit about my thoughts on it. This ride, visually, is very stunning. This is probably the best RMC, I think, in terms of visual appearance. I love the blue color of the track, as I do with Twisted Cyclone as well. And this ride started off with a great base in White Cyclone. That was a beautiful coaster as well. And Hakugai just sort of improves upon that. It freshens it up a little bit. Um, so, I mean, just looking at the shots here in this video provided by Nagashima Spotland, this coaster looks absolutely stunning. I just had to mention that. Now, with that out of the way, let's break down this POV we have. Now, Hakugai starts with a signature RMC pre-lift section, and it's very typical of RMCs. It's on pretty much every one of them. And then we ascend up this massive 180-foot tall lift hill here. We're going to take a very small dip, turn to the left. You get a pretty good view from up here, by the way. Then we're going to go down this huge first drop here at 80 degrees, go into a massive double up. We're going to dive a little down to the right there, go through an outer bank turn, dip down through a little sideways airtime moment, and down this double down here. Then we're going to hit the first of three inversions, a zero G stall. After this, we're going to traverse a couple sort of sideways airtime hills there. Then we're going to go through the second inversion, a zero G roll, over an awesome ejector airtime hill. Then we're going to take a little dive down to the ground, another banked turn there, small pop of airtime. We're going to hit a little sideways airtime hill again. The third and final inversion, the zero G roll. Then we're going to hit a couple airtime pops, and that concludes the ride on Hakugai. We hit the final breaks. I have watched the POV several times since the first official one was released, and a lot of my initial thoughts on it were this ride is very repetitive, has lots of banked turns and sideways airtime hills. There's three inversions thrown in, which do look great, but it's basically just airtime hills and sideways airtime hills and just very repetitive and I think that still holds true. I also thought that this ride seems to be incredibly short feeling, especially for being over 5,000 feet in length. Now watching it more, it really isn't too bad. I mean, it does have a, a good length. I guess it'd be better, you know, to not lose its pace, but I mean, the length is still pretty decent. It's roughly 50 seconds from the time you hit the first drop till when you hit the final breaks. So it's a pretty full ride experience, I guess, and it is over 5,000 feet of track. Like I said, the lift hill stands at 180 feet tall. The ride reaches 66.5 miles per hour. So the stats are certainly very impressive. The second largest RMC coaster to date, and certainly very visually stunning, as I stated earlier. I believe Hakugai, as it builds up a reputation and more people get out there to ride it, I feel like it's going to be considered a very high-end RMC. I don't think it's going to be like a top three necessarily. I don't think it's going to be up there with rides like Steel Vengeance, Lightning Rod, Wildfire necessarily, but I do believe it's going to be somewhat of a top tier RMC, possibly in the top five. I think it looks like an incredible ride, and it's going to have some amazing airtime for sure. As we know, RMC does that incredibly well. Like I said, um, just kind of reiterating some of my points from earlier, 
My biggest criticism with the ride is just that it seems really repetitive. It has an awesome first drop, and then after that it just has a lot of small, like, sideways airtime hills, which I know from Steel Vengeance those are really awesome. And then there's a couple regular airtime hills thrown in there, like a pretty good size one, then a really small like bunny hop. Then there's the three inversions. There's one zero G stall, two zero G rolls. Pretty typical inversions for an RMC coaster, it's fine. So I think it's gonna be a really solid ride. You know, it ha certainly has the stats on its side. It has that massive drop, the great speed, and it's also a pretty good ride in length. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think about Hakugai in the comments below. So. Let me know what you think about Hakugai. Do you think maybe you'll be able to get to Japan in the next few years to ride this? I certainly am not planning on being able to get to Japan anytime soon if I ever do. I would love to go to Nagashima Spa Land though, even if just for this ride. I mean, they have a really solid lineup of coasters too, but Hakugai definitely cements their place, I think, as sort of like, I've heard some people refer to it as like sort of the Japanese Cedar Point. I can kind of see that. They have a really strong coaster lineup. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.